Hey guys, Derek here with another Game Explain Game & Watch, this time with Stretch Mo, which is actually just kind of a surprise release. Uh, it's a free-to-play sequel to Push Mo, Crash Mo, and Push Mo World. And uh, just came out for the 3DS, so I thought it'd be fun to take a nice little uh, Game & Watch and see what the game's all about and what makes it different from other free-to-play games. Uh, I've played most of the, other than push, the original Pushmo, I've played most of, most of the games in the si series. And uh, they're all, you know, they're all fun. They're all found different ways to make the pushing and pulling of blocks interesting and different and entertaining. And, you know, they, they haven't been my favorite games out there, but they've been enough. They've been fun enough. Uh, but apparently we're in Stretchmo land with Bapo here. So, yeah, once again, Mallow's in another park. Time for tutorial. All right, so once again, we're just reaching a goal. So it's, you know, we're not rescuing anybody or anything like that. It's no deep storyline. <laughs> and we got our controls. We're moving, we're moving. All right, so pull out B, okay. Hmm. So, this actually feels a little... Okay, this actually seems like a nice... Oh, I can't? Why not? Oh, well, why didn't you tell me that? Okay. So that's interesting. You are stretching out the uh, flag. So it is similar to other uh, push mode, crash mode games, but this one's you know, has its own uh, ideas and whatnot, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get that flag. Alright, I'm guessing we're going to learn about something. <laughs> oh no, we're just getting right into it. Okay, cool. Can I make it? I can. There you go. I mean, this so far is a push mode game. <laughs> Just with the stretching mechanic. Okay, so what we want to do here, pull that out twice, pull this out once, and then use the green platforms here to cross. I got the hang of this. So, as far as I know, it's like the first seven worlds, or first seven levels, are... Oh, handy tip about stretch mo. Okay, cool. Now, the question I have is, can I grab it from this side? Okay, I cannot grab it from the front. I have to grab it from the side. Cool. Oh, wait. Get down there. Okay, yeah. And we got the rewind function once again. Uh, wonderful. Might as well make it wider. <laughs> All right. That's the devious thing about these games is that they always start off super simple, and you think, "Oh, this is just for this is this is nothing." No. <laughs> Uh, Pushmo, the, 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 this series can get downright devious at times. Ooh, I'm like, oh, this is it. That's interesting. Um, hmm. See, like I said, it can get downright devious. All right, let's reset this. So if I pull it, I can do that. Oh, okay, I can pull uh, specific sections. I did not know that. Okay, so each block is its own section. That actually, that's actually pretty cool. 
All right, next one. Uh, okay, final one. Oh, we can we can handle this. This is nothing. Uh, let's actually pull this out twice. And we'll pull this out once. Push this back in. Okay, that should be good enough. Voila! So yeah, if you like... So far, it seems like if you like the other uh, push mode games, you'll like this one just fine. Hey, a whale. Well, that was nice of him. Okay. Up and around. I wonder. Ha ha ha. Actually, I really like that mechanic. The entire, the entire thing is something that you can use for your own ends and for clearing the puzzles. All right. Uh, now, in that case, you're interested in playing having. Well, now, in case you're interested in having even more stretch meta play. All right. Yep. Please do. You'll gain different permanent access to all sorts of different stretch mo. Okay. Rabbits, gadgets. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, let's see how much it costs. Alright, three other main attractions in Stretch My Land. If you want to enjoy the Stretch Mode, all of them, check out our bundle deal. Okay, what's that? For all four main attractions. Okay. So, five. So, individually, it's about five, eight, eleven, about fourteen bucks. Oh, thank you, game. Hmm. Let's get attraction info, info. Let's see. Sculpture Square. So, Sculpture Square is, let's see, all shaped like animals and stuff. Alright, what's the Stretch Mode Studio? I'm guessing I'll be able to build my own place. So here's what I'm getting now from this, um, Fortress of Fun. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. And finally we have the NES Expo. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so actually, you know, even though it's free to play, it, free to play in the fact that you get to try out the game first, it basically comes with its own demo, and then you can either buy each of these individually for what, whatever actually interests you, or you can get a pass for 10 bucks, which is about the same price as a regular Pushmo game. So I'm not quite sure why they have it like that. I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it's a pretty interesting thing. So let me actually get some cash on here so I can take care of this quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, just added some funds to the 3DS so I can actually get these games and we can try them out. So let's go to the Playtime Plaza. Plaza, that. So we can get by the pass or we can get any of the other ones. So, you know what? 
Uh, yes, please. Let's know about attractions so we can get through here. And I want to get the, um... It's the largest attraction and features all sorts of different stretch metal. And it's the cornerstone. So, basically, it's the one thing that will get you into it. Alright. So, we got all that. Yep. Yes, please. I'm trying to get back to the thing where I can get the bundle deal. <laughs> so we got the Playtime Plaza and all these other ones, as we've seen before. And they're all individually that amount of money. You know, about 14 bucks. We can get them as a bundle as $9.99, as we established before. Honestly, this isn't free to play to me. This is completely fair. It's just, hey, we split up this game into chunks. And if you're not interested in the harder levels, you can just play the smaller levels and... Uh, you know, to do it that way. But, I like full games. It's only ten bucks. Let's take it. And we just got a lifetime pass for all the plazas. Basically, it's like Disney World. <laughs> we just got a park hopper. And there we go. Now we have Playtime Plaza. Sculpture Square. The Fortress of Fun. And the NES Expo. Now this is also the hardest one, but also probably the most interesting one. Uh, so yeah. I mean, that's what we want to see, right? All the Nintendo characters? Unless they immediately take us into the plaza. Okay, we're back and we're immediately in the plaza. Hey, Boppo. Bye, Boppo. Oh, Boppo's gone. <laughs> oh, rescuing children again. Oh, Boppo, you trapped all the kids. So mean. <laughs> you know, as often as this happens, they you think they'd have regulations in place or something. <laughs> All right, Mallow's on the Mallow's on the case. Let's do it. Okay, I think we wanted to pull that that way, or not. Let's see. Oh, and we want to pull that out this way, pull out this way, and... Should be enough. There we go. Gotcha, kid. I, I am impressed how they can just take... Um, the simple concept of, you know, Pushmo, the original Pushmo, and just keep expanding upon it. We got a lot of different puzzles in this, and for just ten bucks, and I don't know, it feels like it's all, it feels like a very worthwhile game, and I heard, when I heard this was coming, and it was, you know, free to play, I was like, oh, really? It's kind of lame, but no, this is actually, it basically just breaking up a game into whatever you want to play. If it's, you don't want to worry with the harder levels, you don't want to worry about the simple levels, you can just get what you want. Of course they are. This is what Mallow lives for. In fact, that's why he uh, broke all the robots in the first place. He just loves saving children. <laughs> He'll manufacture the fact that he has to save children. Alright. Okay, so we're learning about the camera and all that. Whoops. Okay, stretch that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Aha. There we go. Yeah, I really like the idea of the stretching. It's actually works pretty well. Unfortunately, I want to show off the NES ones, but uh, the game keeps forcing me along this path, so... We'll get out of here eventually. Alright. Um, pull that. Okay, so I can't pull that that way. Let's pull that that way, and this this way. And we're good. Oh no! <laughs> I fell behind. Get back up there. I guess I could have rewound time, but... Nah, I could just walk around. Okay, one more kid saved. Now what? Oh yeah, we're just rolling right along with these. <laughs> Okay, how do we want to go about this one? So we got the kid here. Let's pull that out so we have plenty of room to work with. Okay, we cannot do that. Hmm. I believe that pink one is just a uh, red herring, yeah. It's just there to throw you off. Alright. Back to the attraction menu. Can I choose what I want to do now? Nope. As soon as it, as soon as it pops up, it's like, nope, save these kids. Okay, there's a new technique that'll be handy. Always good. I think I already figured this out. Oh, okay. I've been doing this thing again. Okay, cool. There we go. I honestly forgot about that technique from earlier games, so thank you. I think we're going to have to do all the level 1 challenges. We're learning advanced techniques. Oh, that's right, we can always skip it. <laughs> don't know if about, don't forget about the kids, uh, Mallow. Wouldn't don't you know? Think of the children. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This. Pull this out. Push this back in. Pull this back out. We're good. We got this. These kids are just fine. Four more and I can take on the NES ones that'll probably kick my butt. <laughs> okay, let's pull that out. Hmm. Let's do this the opposite way. Ah, uh, almost. Um, hmm. It's these that always kind of mess me up a little bit. 
Uh, do that. Ah, it drives me nuts. <laughs> um... Let's do this. Pull you out. There we go. Okay. Just had to think a little bit. Funny that, with a puzzle game. <laughs> also, what's with me in puzzle, puzzle games today? Just put up my review of Puzzle and Dragons, and now we're doing Stretch Mo. Who knew? Funny thing is, this feels, you know, simil very similar to past games. It's just um, slightly changing up, up the mechanics. Because <laughs> the, uh, these, these types of puzzles feel very familiar. <laughs> but they're remixed, different. You know. But the game is stuffed with content like other uh, push mode games. Okay, pull that. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I can't push this forward? Yeah, I can. There we go. I'm not sure. I, I think Crash Mode was my least favorite of the games. It was just so... Uh, so much to keep track of. Push Mode is probably still the classic. Uh, but I'm really liking Stretch Mode. I'm not sure if I like Stretch Mode better or Push Mode better. Hmm. Hard to say. I think I know how this one's going to go. <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay, with this, I should be done with all these... Uh, with this world. Well, this... Yeah, I should be able to take control back again. At least I would hope. Or not. How about a progress report, though? We got all the cute kids. Only 90 more to rescue in this area. <laughs> okay, with that, we got all, did all the Playtime Plaza. We got to check out the NES Expo. Got to. You have to. Are we actually playing as the other characters in these? I think we are. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, Beppo back. Beppo is back again. I was giving tips to Mallow for three games now. Out of my way. Beppo the robot and Beppo the Game Boy. Lots of diagonal jumps. And we can change the view. Okay. Yep, I got it. So yeah, he actually plays the different characters in the other modes. That's actually pretty cool. Yes, yes. Let me just try and fail at this. Alright. Got that. Hmm. Let's try this. Okay, pull that out. Pull that out the rest of the way. Hmm. That's not going to work. 
I can get up. I can get him up there, but I can. Uh, can I do the di diagonal jump enough? Nope. Uh, rewind. I didn't do that. You never saw me do it. You can't prove it. Um. Hmm. Problem is, if I pull it from here. I block myself and I can't get back up. So that ain't good. So let's actually... This is the key piece. There we go. Now we got that. Voila! Conquered Mario's head. So unfortunately I was very curious to see what other um, NES things we'd see, but considering this is called Mario 1, I have a feeling it's just going to be all Mario pieces. Total 50 stretch mo in the attraction. Okay, clear 5 and the next 10 are unlocked. Ooh, special gift. Cool. Why not? I want gifts. Let's see what number two is. Oh, it's Balloon Fighter. Cool. And we're getting our gadgets that we would have been introduced to before, but uh, we skipped ahead. Yes, yes, yes. I remember these from the past games. All right, let's do it, Grandpa. <laughs> I can't remember if they ever used this concept before in uh, other push mode games or not, but I do like it. And up we go. Actually, I don't think we wanted to go up yet. That, yeah, let's... Now we're good. We need room to work. Um... Hmm... Where does green take me? Up here. And I think we want to go back down here and, yes, push that all out. And then go back over here to the green. Uh, oh, nope, didn't want to go there. Back in. Ooh, okay. It opens up that. This is tricky, but it's fun. I don't know, it's, it's something cool about just climbing all over the balloon fighter. And conquering him! Hell yeah! Alright, let's take a look at one more of these uh, puzzles. And of course we got all the stuff that we can use to make our own that we can share across with everybody else. Hey! He might not have made it into Smash Brothers, but here he is in, uh, in, uh, in, in Stretch Brothers. And isn't that enough? Right? <laughs> okay. Popo! Okay. Got that. Um, yes, I think this is how we do it. <laughs> I like these. Up and around. Okay, did all that. Hmm. Not sure if that works. Nope. Don't think that works either. Uh. Can't do that. Can't quite. See, uh. Whoops. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's push this in here and grab this instead. 
Um, no, 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 that's, ah, that's not what I wanted. Here, and here. And it sounds like something gets freed up up there, so I'm gonna move that up and around that I can't quite reach. So in this case, we're actually gonna bring this forward one again and pull this out. Almost, come on. You can do it, Grandpa. Uh, where's the flag? Uh, oh, is it all the way over there? I think I see it over there. Leap of faith. Yep, clear popo. Not bad. Got a little fatter with me, but uh, that's okay. So I'll show off the next, whatever the next one is, but I'm not actually going to do it. I think I'm going to end right here uh, for this little tour of, ooh, wow, even if I remember Stanley from uh, Donkey Kong 3. That's impressive. Anyway, guys, I think that covers it for this Game & Watch on uh, Stretch Mo. Uh, honestly, don't let the whole free-to-play thing fool you. This is pretty much a full-fledged game. It is a full, I mean, this plays exactly like the other Pushmo games. It works just like them. It's a, uh, all you have to do is basically you can either pay, pay for it piecemeal uh, to just get what, what works for you, or you can get the whole thing for 10 bucks and it's basically a standard $10 game. There's no nickel and dime or anything here. This is a complete game and an excellent use of the free to play model where you basically get a demo and then you can get whatever you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Stretchmo and uh, of course stay tuned to Game Explain for more on the Pushmo series and other things gaming too. Till next time guys, bye.